I have way too many Google accounts, and switching between them whenever I click on a link is a pain. To exacerbate the issue, I'm a Safari user, but Google Apps work better in Chrome, as do an increasingly number of other websites. But recently, I found a solution to this problem, and it's the best way to manage multiple Google accounts that you can possibly have. Hey there, I'm Kelly. I'm a father of six, a full-time software developer at Rescue Time, Dean of Digital Campus at Signum University, and on this channel I talk about ways you can get more done in less time. Today I'm going to share with you my setup for handling multiple Google accounts across two browsers and how I can open any link in the right browser and account with little effort. It begins with Chrome's multi-profile support. You see Chrome and any browser based off of it, such as Opera, Vivaldi, or Brave, has the ability to allow you to create multiple profiles, each with their own themes, extensions, favorites, and yes, logged in Google accounts. Creating a new profile in Chrome is very easy. Just select the user icon in the upper right of the browser window and click add at the bottom under other profiles. Follow the steps to set up the new profile and choose one of your Google accounts to log in with, then repeat for all of your other Google accounts. Now, whenever you want to switch to a different Google account, you can either go to the same location to switch between them, or right-click on the Chrome app icon in your dock and select a profile from there. This alone is a huge improvement, but there is still a big problem. What happens when a coworker sends you a link to an internal Google Doc? Well, if you click on it, it'll open in your default browser, which for me is Safari, and that is not where I'm logged into my Rescue Time Google Workspace account. I can right-click and copy the link and then open Chrome in the correct profile and paste the link in there. <sighs> but this can be simplified by installing and configuring an app called OpenIn. OpenIn is an amazing app, and it is the key to getting the system working. Once installed, OpenIn will ask to become your default browser, and you should definitely say yes. Because once configured, OpenIn will act as a switchboard for every URL you click on, and will show you a little pop-up asking you which browser you want to open the URL in. If this sounds like it would be a pain, don't worry. I thought it would at once, but I quickly got used to it. OpenIn will only prompt you for clicks you make outside of your usual browsing activities, so all links you click on in your browser will continue to act like normal. But let's go back to the OpenIn configuration. The first thing you should do is add all of your browsers as options. But here's where it gets really cool. You can list the same browser more than once. If for Chromium-based browsers, you can tell it which user profile to open. Now, unfortunately, Chrome makes it a bit of a pain to find your profile name, but you can do it by going to your Chrome version page and using the last portion of the profile path. But once you've gone through all the hassle and set this up, any link you click on can now always be opened in the correct browser with the correct Google account. If you still think it'll get to be too much of a hassle, don't worry, it's not as bad in practice as it sounds, and you can even add rules to automate specific URLs. Let's take Asana and Figma, for instance. I only ever use those web apps for rescue time. So I've configured rules to always open links from figma.com or asana.com in my Rescue Time Google Chrome profile. You can make any number of rules that you want, and they're highly customizable. I frequently trigger Google searches via Alfred. I've told OpenIn that anytime a URL comes from Alfred to just open in my default browser, Safari. This is almost always what I want. Another pair of rules have to do with Zoom. I've set up one to always forward Zoom meeting links directly to the Zoom app instead of bouncing me out to a website first, which is just frustrating and annoying. The other opens all links clicked on in a Zoom chat in Safari. You see, the Zoom chat window likes to stay on top of other windows, and that sometimes hides the open and popover, so I just got around this issue by telling it to always open Safari. Now, OpenIn isn't a free app. But there is a free trial available, and frankly, at a cost of only $10, I've found it to be incredibly helpful in dealing with this multiple Google account issue. If you've made it this far in the video, you might be interested in this video up here, or you may be curious why my beard looks like this. And if that's the case, check out the video up here. Till next time, bye.